Welcome for the final round of the Formula 4 Saudi Arabia Championship 35 by FIA. This is Luca Filippi and we are in Jeddah, in the amazing Corniche circuit, the permanent street circuit here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And we couldn't have a, a better place to end our championship, our series, uh, better than Jeddah, as uh, we are running in the uh, Formula 4 Saudi Arabia, then uh, being here, it's uh, in the famous fastest street circuit of the world. is a fantastic opportunity for the drivers to feel the speed and the emotions that uh, a Formula driver can feel around uh, this track. It has been uh, amazing so far. We already had two race events here in the Corniche circuit in Jeddah. It has been uh, a lot of fun to watch and I guess a lot of fun for the driver the drivers to race uh, at this circuit. The championship has been running in uh, uh, some of the most uh, fascinating and uh, incredible circuit of the world and of Middle East, of course. We started in uh, Bahrain uh, for the trophy event back in December and then uh, the championship has started in the quite new Kuwait uh, International Circuit. Uh, it was uh, really nice to be in uh, Kuwait. Then we went to Qatar and finally here in the famous streets of Jeddah. Um, let's see this fantastic circuit, one of uh, the longest circuit on Hurt is uh, we have seen uh, this uh, track map, uh, which is definitely uh, showing not just uh, the layout, but also the length and uh, the long uh, straight line and the uh, fast speed that you can reach here in Jeddah. Up to six corner after the start, up to six gear in turn one. Then heartbreaking and overtaking opportunity in turn one as well. And then from Turn 4 to turn 9, there is a very fast twisty section. 4th, 5th gear, and then 6th gear, exit of 10, and then breaking into turn 13. It's a banked corner, very unique. And then again, flat out up to 6th until uh, turn 16, 4th gear, and again, flat out all the way to 22, hard breaking down to 4th gear, flat out for. 23, 24, 25, and 26. Super quick area again. An overtaking opportunity. Downshifting and breaking into turn 27, which is the final turn of this 6.2 kilometer circuit. Yeah, yeah, it's quite unique to have uh, 27 turns in one single lap. And it makes uh, life difficult for the driver especially at the beginning when they are learning the circuit, when they are trying to find uh, their uh, um, point references and they have uh, the time to learn the circuit. Uh, this has been uh, already more than one week ago when we first arrived uh, here in Jeddah. And uh, all these drivers, they already race here. So they will start this practice with uh, quite few, I would say, quite many laps under the, their belt. Um, now all of them has uh, been racing here. They have uh, all the data information and video and coaching they could have uh, had. And uh, so they are up, up to speed and, uh, and ready to race. Uh, we'll start the program of today with practice, 30 minutes of a practice session and then uh, we will have uh, a very short break and right after that we'll go straight to qualifying for the final qualifying of the season probably the most uh, important qualifying uh, uh, of uh, <laughs> this, uh, these guys uh, that they have uh, you know a very little most of them experience in formula cars in motor racing Sakera Moshergi is a Kuwait driver He's been also on the podium several times and uh, he won also a race uh, in Kuwait. 
and is standing fourth in the championship. And Saker is uh, being one of the best rookies uh, so far. Here we see uh, all the marshals that are closing the gaps uh, uh, in the straight line. As uh, we said, it's uh, a permanent straight circuit, but it sometimes gives uh, some excess uh, to uh, the people to go across the track to go into an area which is uh, uh, basically inside uh, uh, turn 26 27 and now once they close the gaps we can go green in a short time Federico Alrifai is now the leader of the championship he arrived uh, into the second final uh, weekend in the second last weekend uh, of uh, the season with uh, quite the gap in terms of points to Andrei um, Petrovic but he was able not just to um, close the gap but also to overtake and uh, even uh, uh, now try and extend uh, his leadership himself he was able really to score a lot of points he had almost a perfect weekend uh, a few days ago, last Monday, Federico Arifai, and that gave him the opportunity to be now the leader of the championship. Here, from the drone, you can see the view of uh, our Formula 4 cars. All of them are Tatus Autotecnica Pirelli tires. You see some different colors. They are divided in teams. Here we have uh, Kirill Kuskov. OK, karting champion, one of uh, the most talented drivers we have with us, is now standing in third. He's picking to Marcello, one of uh, our coaches of the series. And Kirill uh, is being uh, so quick last weekend, finally winning his first race uh, of the season. We were really waiting for him to to win a race because uh, uh, he's one of those uh, drivers that they just needed, uh, I would say, a boost in terms of confidence for him to finally uh, challenge the best uh, and fastest uh, drivers of the championship. And uh, he did winning style his first race uh, of the season. He scored many points. Last, last time here, and now he's standing third in championship. Amnal Kubezi, one of the most uh, experienced drivers in the series, and she's been also on the podium last weekend, sometimes uh, a little bit unlucky, also having a contact with her brother, Abdullah. It was a really unfortunate uh, contact that... Uh, have seen uh, both cars out but uh, luckily with uh, no damages and uh, I'm uh, definitely as we said very experienced really fast but looking for better luck this weekend in the final event of the series we have uh, three Saudi uh, drivers uh, racing uh, so it's while outlaw. here we have yeah. push, push, let's in, try in here finished. And in the end, I'm going to keep pushing or, or, or send it through. Talking about the program. Tires, it's okay. it's up to you. Fuel. No, no. Out, uh, warm, fuel, push, so push, push, and in. Oscar is asking if he can also push in the in lap, as he's now using used tires, so he doesn't really have to save uh, tire life in the tire, so he can maximize uh, his track time, and uh, after that, after this uh, short run, most of the guys will have to uh, wait a little bit in order to get ready for qualifying. Uh, what a fantastic uh, area. We are in Jeddah, uh, north of uh, the old town of the city center, in a, a new area which is uh, nearby the coast. On the right-hand side of the screen, uh, uh, where you see the dark, it's basically the will be basically uh, there is like the sea and the coast on the right hand side. So 
uh, I just been uh, just been told that there is a little bit of a delay as the we have the, a little bit of an issue with the gate that we have seen uh, just a couple of minutes before a couple of minutes ago when uh, there was a marshal trying to close the gate so um, now they have to make sure that uh, the gate is properly closed, shut it down, and then we can uh, restart with the, our normal schedule. Um, for uh, our point of view, it's uh, just a matter of, uh, of minutes. All the cars are, are ready to go. Sometimes they have to run the engine in order to keep the engine in uh, the right temperature. Here we have Jabor Altani from Qatar and uh, like I said we have um, some drivers that they have uh, very little experience for them it's basically the very first uh, season championship um, in motor racing some of them they have karting experience only few of them they have already some uh, uh, formula Experience, for example, the two El Cubese sisters and uh, um, Suleiman Zanfari, which he, of course he has uh, quite a bit of, uh, of experience, and Federico Arifai, which is uh, the leader of uh, the championship. But the rookies are the guys that uh, uh, really were able to make uh, the biggest uh, improvement uh, since the beginning uh, of the season and uh, it has been a pleasure to help them grow learn improve and uh, and get better day by day here we have Abdul Al Kubezi and uh, he's normally you can see also the helmet is the helmet from uh, uh, his sister and uh, we normally see Abdullah maybe attending race events, uh, following, supporting and uh, cheering for uh, his sisters, but it's nice to see him racing as well. After so long uh, following the sisters, I think uh, he really felt uh, it was his time to try and uh, have an opportunity as well. So it's a bit of a unique opportunity to see three brothers in the same uh, series. So we have uh, Abdullah Al Kubaisi in the number 77 and uh, with the number 8 we have uh, Amda Al Kubaisi and number 88 Amna Al Kubaisi and uh, Abdullah Zida Buzanada the home hero with many friends and uh, followers came here to visit him uh, Abdul Aziz is also a rookie. He started with us at the beginning of uh, uh, the season with uh, basically no experience in any kind of uh, racing. But uh, he's really a hard worker. He's uh, one of those guys that he never stops uh, uh, training and improving and. Uh, working hard and uh, trying to learn uh, from uh, every single corner, every single little mistake. Uh, and I, I have seen him uh, really trying to find uh, also more pace last weekend uh, and uh, eventually I will, uh, I will see him one of uh, the guys that will uh, put on a show in today race two, I believe. Hamdal Kubezi, uh, she's been, um, of course, one of the, the most consistent drivers of the season, sometimes a bit unlucky, and she's the first to go out on track, um, depending on how many laps uh, uh, these boys and girls will do in qualifying, then uh, they can have... Uh, a certain amount for practice. Why is that? Because um, we have uh, 30 minutes of practice and then a uh, short break and then 30 minutes of qualifying uh, but there is uh, by regulation uh, no refueling in between sessions so the driver alongside the uh, driver's engineer they make uh, what they believe is the best 
strategy in order to um, organize their run plan between practice and qualifying. The main thing is during the practice you have to uh, check the car, double check that you have no technical issues, that the car is running fine. This is the main thing. Second thing is to warm up the car, the engine, the brakes and everything. And the third is to um, bring yourself uh, up to speed even if we raced here only a few days ago last Monday you know you just wanna be uh, on top of your uh, your game on top of your driving so after a few laps uh, you just uh, make sure you get your own references you feel the track you feel the surface you feel the grip so this gives you the opportunity to um, uh, have a feel on track and then understand what sort of uh, uh, grip level you can find uh, for the qualifying which is the time of the day that matters uh, sometimes the most um, but keep in mind that during these two sessions there will be an evolution on track We've been racing here last Monday and then since Monday to today there was only a uh, little track activity with some uh, road cars so this means that the circuit it's, uh, it's mainly what we say green when we say the circuit is green it means that um, it's just uh, a little dusty and there is uh, basically not so much rubber down uh, in the racing line and uh, because of that there is normally an evolution of the grip uh, through the session not just during the practice session but also during the qualifying session um, so I would say it's really really crucial today to be on track in the final five minutes of the qualifying with the right grip of the tires, right temperatures, right uh, pressures in order to be uh, ready in those final minutes to set your uh, best uh, lap possible while the circuit is also getting a little bit faster, a little bit, uh, a little less green basically and uh, with more grip. This is something that uh, all the drivers, they have to balance in between having uh, uh, the most lap possible, but also the best time uh, on track. Um, I'll just remind you also the qualifying uh, regulations regarding on how we define uh, the three races uh, format, how we define the grids for the three races. So. After qualifying, it will be important for all the drivers to set at least three quick fast lap times. As the best lap time overall will uh, define uh, the grid for race one, while the second best time reversed will define uh, uh, the grid for race two. So basically in race two, all uh, uh, the lap time, the second best lap time will be reversed for uh, a reverse grid race which it normally uh, deliver a big show, a lot of fun and uh, a lot of action as well. While you need a really fast third flying lap as uh, for the final race of uh, the day, the, the third fastest lap counts for uh, for the grid and just as a reminder race one and three they give full points in terms of championship while uh, uh, race two which is the reverse grid race gives half of the point so <laughs> you have to think uh, about that take everything in account and then uh, make your own strategy and uh, how many sets of tire you have uh, for uh, um, today you have basically a carryover set 
which is now everybody using for this uh, practice. This uh, carryover set is uh, a used set of tire from the previous event. That is just a set that is uh, um, for uh, this free practice. While since uh, qualifying, you have uh, two full new set of tires, basically eight uh, tires that you can uh, rotate and change uh, as you wish, as you want. I give you an example. Some will have uh, a single uh, uh, set of tires in qualifying, so they will wait a little bit, then go out, push, basically warm up for a couple of laps, and then push, and after a little bit, uh, uh, you will have maybe a cool down lap, and then push again, and then finally pit. And then you will have for the three races, a set of tires with run run and then a brand new set while somebody else will have a strategy based on uh, a double set of new tire for the qualifying so basically they start at the beginning of the session they go out warm push for a couple of laps and then come into the pits and then go out again with a second set of tires and that one will be the set that has to be uh, faster and uh, you have to try and uh, uh, maximize uh, the amount of grip you have uh, from the tires and from the track at the end uh, of the session so for the three races you will have uh, two sets of uh, used tires that you can rotate and change uh, as much as you as you want so there isn't really a better or a worse uh, uh, strategy it's just a matter of deciding what is suits best i would say for this final uh, weekend of the season uh, qualifying will be crucial where you start and uh, you have to try and start uh, up front as much as possible if you can so i'm sure that uh, everybody will uh, make uh, his own uh, strategy and uh, plan in order to make sure they have the best qualifying possible so regarding uh, the free practice everybody is still uh, warming up the tires they are now starting to push a little bit more we are getting close to uh, halfway through the practice for the moment Andrei Petrovic is the fastest on track with Jabor Altan in second, Suleiman Zanfar in third and Abdullah Zidabuzenada in fourth um, still uh, 16 minutes to go so most of the drivers will uh, um, improve their lap times um, like we discussed before we will have uh, some uh, evolution on track so some improvement especially from the grip um, these guys they have to warm up the tires and also get up to speed and uh, the main thing is to have a good feeling with the car and with the truck before we go to the qualifying session this is the main goal some of the drivers they are still in the pits waiting the final minutes in order to have their uh, lap time you can see Federico Arifai with uh, some uh, locking on the rear uh, under braking um, you can see the rear locking when uh, the car is basically sliding on entry when you are braking and this is a common uh, uh, situation behavior of the car that you can find when the circuit is a little bit uh, green like uh, like it is now but within a uh, few minutes and few laps this uh, this little issue will basically disappear and uh, go away so Andrei Petrovic has been improving and is now the fastest on track with Amdal Kubeisi in second and Suleiman Zamfari in third Federico Arifai is also starting to push uh, 
harder and harder. And uh, yeah, Federico Rifai is uh, definitely the main contender of uh, Andrei Petrovic and uh, it's not just uh, a fight on track but also it becomes uh, a sort of a fight uh, which is uh, also from the mental point of view as uh, practice doesn't define uh, anything about the race weekend but it's one of those things that can put an extra pressure on your uh, title rival so I bet both of them uh, will try and be at the top of the of the classification of the practice in order to give a clear message to the contender before starting uh, uh, the event and uh, <laughs> this is exactly what is happening with Andrei Petrovic in first and Federico Al Rifai, the two contenders in first and second. Yes, the same two guys that uh, in the last few races has been uh, uh, fighting for the leadership of the championship. They are now first and second in these three practices. So they both know that uh, it's time to deliver it's time to be ready to push 100% uh, for qualifying the lap time are still uh, not uh, on the level uh, that we have seen uh, on uh, the Monday's uh, qualifying but not too far uh, as uh, we are quickly improving we keep uh, seeing uh, uh, purples uh, sectors and uh, now Amdal Kubezi, she's in second with Kirill Kutskov in third. Kirill, uh, as we said, is now up to speed and he loves this circuit. Um, he is uh, finding a good rhythm around this track and uh, you can see from his face from his smile that he's uh, enjoying racing here and uh, it's been a pleasure to see him uh, fighting for the victories up there where uh, we believe uh, he deserves to be so Kirill Kuzkov is, is now on the fastest uh, first sector while Federico Rifai is improving himself he's trying to get uh, uh, closer let's see where Federico and he goes to P2 two tenths of a, sec of a second shy of Andrei Petrovic so Andrei in first Federico in second Hamda third Kirill Kuzkov in fourth but watch out because Kirill is also on uh, a quick uh, lap time Kirill uh, is now on uh, a very fast sector so if he doesn't go to the pit uh, he will be potentially trying to here we have Kirill following Amda Kubesi and still Andre in first which, he, which is now going to the pits Kirill Kuzkov in second only 700 of a second behind uh, Petrovic so Petrovic and Kuzko very close refined third Amna Alcubez in fourth but she's being very competitive because uh, Kuzko is also using a little bit of a benefit from the slipstream from Amda and uh, so Amda in fourth I think she's been uh, uh, very quick as she didn't have a particular slipstream uh, while uh, Omar in fifth uh, is confirming the big improvement of uh, performance that uh, he had uh, in between the first and the second event so confirming that Omar is back and uh, trying to fight for uh, 
a step on the podium. Just uh, as a reminder for the first race of the event today, we will have a grid penalty both for Omar Al-Valid Alderayan for five places for uh, avoidable contact on the race three and for Suleiman Zanfari for three places uh, for uh, um, driving slowly around the track when his car was unfortunately damaged uh, during race two on uh, on Monday and so uh, because it couldn't race in race three he has to carry his uh, uh, penalty into two days uh, uh, race one but only with the three grid penalty so he can still uh, win races and uh, uh, his, uh, his race weekend is absolutely not compromised at all as uh, we have seen many overtaking and may a lot of action so three places or five places is definitely not gonna uh, be one of those things that can stop these guys from uh, um, having a good result. So with seven minutes to go, most of uh, uh, the drivers have uh, completed um, the running. We only have uh, one, two, three, six cars still on track. Let's have uh, a quick a quick look on uh, the timing as uh, Andrei Petrovic in 2.8.4 that's already a fast lap time because we have seen very low 7 on new tires in qualifying last week so I believe uh, low 8, mid 8 uh, is already a fast lap thinking that uh, uh, they don't have uh, new tires of course and the circuit has been uh, uh, very green here we have Saker Al Moshergi on track. Saker was on pole last weekend. He has been super impressive, super quick. And he was both on pole for uh, race one and uh, uh, race three. So he only got uh, one podium out of uh, this uh, last week three races. But um, he has shown a great potential fantastic performance so just have to improve his starting procedure he has to understand uh, the technique uh, of uh, having a perfect start which has to be quick with the quickest possible reaction with uh, uh, the least amount of wheel spin with uh, the best acceleration possible but without risking too much as unfortunately um, he has stalled from the pole position uh, on the last race uh, that was definitely uh, a shame to see him uh, making an effort to go on pole position but unfortunately wasn't able to uh, maximize from, uh, from that but he has shown uh, an amazing speed both in qualifying and uh, on uh, race pace and uh, Saker is definitely one of the most talented uh, drivers we have uh, in the championship uh, as he only have uh, a little uh, karting experience but uh, putting it on pole position during the last event has been uh, incredible and now Saker he just wanted to <laughs> let me know that uh, I was right in uh, speaking highly of him and uh, he is now up, up to P3, two tenths away from Andre. So now Saker is in third with Petrovic, Kutskov, Al Moshergi, Al Rifai, Zamfari, Al Kubesi, Al Valid, Al Derayan, Al Kabani, Amna Al Kubesi, Oscar Burtz, Abdullah Al Kubesi, Chabor Altani. Abdulaziz Abuzanada and Laura Villers unfortunately still uh, not feeling well uh, uh, this weekend so 
not able to participate on uh, today's race, unfortunately. We won't see her back uh, in her 55 number car. Here we have uh, Abdullah al -Kubezi. Definitely doing a fantastic job uh, last weekend, especially in race 2, until uh, uh, he had a very unfortunate uh, uh, accident with uh, his uh, sister. But uh, I spoke to him and uh, it was a really unfortunate situation. Uh, what happened? Um, Abdullah was in front, Amna was behind and she was uh, coming fast and uh, Abdullah just wanted to give her as much room as possible. To do so, he went uh, quite a bit on the podium on the inside of uh, turn eight, which is a fifth gear corner, so a fast corner. But going that much on the curb just uh, made his car uh, um, bottoming, touching on the curb and uh, losing the line. And uh, by doing that, it just went a little bit too wide and uh, into the sideboard of Amna Kubezi while she was on the outside going for a move and uh, that sent her straight into the barrier. Luckily, with no consequence both to her and to the car, which uh, the safe pro barrier and the strength of these status uh, uh, cars uh, just uh, made, uh, luckily, no uh, damages at all, which is both uh, good and surprising. In the yellow car, Omar Al-Valid al, -Valid al another rookie, super quick, little experience, really fast, sometimes uh, um, one of those drivers that we have to uh, keep him uh, calm uh, and uh, within uh, you know the the, the regulation has uh, is a fighter and he can sometimes get uh, can get overexcited while racing but uh, he's uh, a lot of fun to watch a guy that can deliver some of the most exciting uh, overtaking you can see definitely So now everybody is uh, uh, almost ready uh, for qualifying while uh, Amna went back out. Sorry, this is Amda. Amda is back out uh, on track er, as uh, her sister is just for a final uh, uh, lap before uh, then uh, probably going to the pits or finding the check red flag so trying to feel the, the grip of the circuit in the very final minutes uh, of the session as uh, after this after a short break we will go straight to qualifying qualifying in a street course is uh, one of the one of those uh, crucial things um, this is a circuit where we have seen a lot of overtaking so you can overtake, you can make positions, you can uh, uh, still uh, overtake uh, even if uh, your qualifying hasn't been uh, perfect. Uh, but being racing between uh, uh, two walls, as you can see, uh, is uh, a little bit more risky. And uh, in order to avoid uh, as many potential issues as you can, uh, starting up front uh, is uh, is the key. Um, so also qualifying, we believe that uh, the way it is, uh, it's really rewarding uh, for uh, uh, not only the fastest guy, but also the guy that has uh, the best consistency, as uh, you need a third fast flying lap in order to try and uh, beyond Paul for the final race uh, of the event as well um, and as I said before both race 1 and 3 they count uh, uh, full points in this final round uh, of uh, the championship um, 
mainly we talk about the fight of uh, um, the fight for the winner which is mainly for uh, the mathematics says three drivers um, Federico Alrifai, Andrei Petrovic and Kirill Kutskov but mainly we believe that Petrovic and Kutskov have the most uh, chances while for third position it's also another open fight uh, as we have still many points uh, uh, to go we will have uh, potentially a better understanding uh, after race one but the format of three races in a day it means that potentially anything could change uh, uh, from uh, now on until uh, tonight at uh, local time 3 p.m. when the action will be over and we will have uh, our uh, very first uh, crowned champion of the Formula 4 Saudi Arabia Championship certified by FIA. Here we have also Amna going back to the pits as uh, the two El Kubezi sisters are the last cars uh, on track and uh, now as I can see from uh, the GPS uh, all the cars are back to the pits what a view from uh, this uh, circuit you can't believe uh, how good the visibility is in this place by night um, some of the drivers they were even considering um, to race with a dark visor as the visibility it is so good so they were even uh, uh, thinking about using the dark visor uh, it's like uh, going by night with your sunglasses on which feels very weird so I advise them generally to use the um, clear visor even if uh, um, the light uh, system is uh, really good or maybe just uh, the light smoke visor but uh, I wouldn't really consider myself uh, uh, in using the dark visor but it's just to give you an, uh, an idea on how good the visibility is by night so let's hear from uh, the drivers themselves how was the action on track with Marcello in the pits here we are right after the free practice. Uh, we have been already the Formula 4 in action. There was some um, really good lap time, but actually a little bit slower than the last time. So let's have a chat with Andre uh, Petrovic that did the qu quickest lap time in this free practice. How was the track like? Uh, the track condition was not very good. It was very dirty because, you know, road cars drove in the past few days. But uh, I think it's getting better and better and feeling confident with Kukoli. So there was sand out there or just dirty all around? No, it was just dirty all around. As the cars went past, it was better and better. But I think it will be good for quali. Okay, so good luck for your quali. So we had, of course, uh, some days off between the last race and uh, our race. And, of course, during uh, this day, we didn't have our cars on track. There were uh, other GT cars that they had uh, their activity. So... Uh, let's have uh, a chat with the other drivers that are waiting to be back on track. The quali will be uh, really soon starting. So let's have a, a chat with Suleiman, Suleiman Zanfari, that did uh, uh, the fifth lap time, quickest lap time in quali. So, uh, Suleiman, now we will go straight to quali. Are you ready for it? Yes, I'm always born ready. I'm ready for it. I just want to give my what I have and we see what comes. So, uh, we have been talking with uh, uh, Petrovic, he said the track was pretty dirty, what about your uh, point of view? I just adapted to the track, but to me I didn't feel any difference, it's just be on your zone and do the max. So, good luck for your quality then. So, going on to have some uh, chat with uh, other drivers that are uh, not ready uh, to get into the car, they will wait a little bit when the track will be... Uh, more grippy and there will be less dirt on track. Let's have a quick chat with Jabor, Jabor Altani. He's getting really good experience, getting always better. What are your expectations for this quality? Um, I mean, as you've seen from the practice a few minutes ago, the track is completely dusty yet again. So we still have to adapt to, um, to our conditions and hopefully in quality, we'll, the, uh, 
the dust will clear up and hopefully we'll get a faster time than last time. Okay, Jabbar. Good luck for your quali. So from my side, it's really all. You can enjoy now quali and look and Aaron. It's up to you. Thank you, Marcello. Thank you, Jabor, as well. Always nice to hear from you. And uh, um, as Jabor, right after the interview with Marcello, is in the car, ready to go for this qualifying. We are already green. So the countdown of uh, our 30 minutes is uh, already started. So we are now 29 minutes to go as uh, uh, now... It's qualifying time. As I said before, you have basically two different uh, potential strategies. One is uh, to go for the double uh, uh, qualifying attack, and the second one is to go for the single qualifying attack. Um, the amount of mileage and lap is not uh, that different. It's just uh, that on the single... Uh, uh, set uh, you basically just focus on one set and uh, try to improve at the end uh, by feeling the tires feeling the grip and uh, you also have the opportunity to cool down the the tires at the end of uh, uh, the stint which sometimes we have seen we have seen that it gives uh, uh, the best balance and grip towards uh, the end of the session also when uh, the fuel uh, is uh, a little bit less so this is one of the strategy the second strategy is to use uh, two sets which is what i believe uh, uh, federico arrifai and oscar woods are doing and amda also which is uh, out of track so these three for sure which are out of track uh, out of the pits and on track already they are going for uh, a double um, a double stint trying to have uh, uh, two uh, runs the first one a little shorter with the first set of tires and then uh, quick stop change tires go to the second set and then push again and try to have uh, uh, the tires in the perfect condition when uh, the circuit is uh, it's good, it's fast, as, uh, as we heard from uh, both uh, Petrovic and Zanfari, it was a little bit dusty, which is normal. Uh, when uh, you have uh, different activities on track, uh, it's normal that the grip level is not as high as uh, when you have uh, Formula cars or GT cars that they have, uh, they run... Uh, um, racing uh, tires and slick tires it's a completely different uh, um, quality of rubber that you lay down uh, on the track so uh, it's normal that there will be a uh, there will be a little bit of an evolution through the last session and through this session so the very last seven eight minutes of the session i'm sure there will be interesting and uh, we will see a lot of action uh, uh, going on so who's out on track Federico Rifai and Oscar Woods are already in their first uh, flying lap even if uh, they are still uh, warming up the tires while Faisal Kabani, Amdal Kubesi, Omar Alderayan, Kirill Kutskov, Suleiman Zanfari, Abdul Al Kubesi, Amna Al Kubesi, Jabor Altani, Abdul Aziz Abu Zenada are out on track uh, for their outlap. Still in the pits, Sakera Moshergi and Andrei Petrovic. So I assume and believe that Sakera and Andrei are uh, potentially focusing on uh, the single uh, qualifying set attack, uh, while uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to judge for uh, most of the other drivers. Uh, while I, I believe uh, for uh, Oscar Woods, Arifai, Amda and Amna Kubesi, they are going for the double stint, the double uh, new set of tires attack. Um, like I said, it's just a matter of uh, deciding and uh, uh, preparing and, and making your own uh, 
strategy for uh, today race event because if you uh, don't uh, use one set of these uh, uh, new tires you can also uh, try and benefit from uh, uh, a brand new set in uh, one of the three races where you can have a brand new set uh, to start with um, sometimes it's better to prioritize uh, the running order for the qualifying sometimes uh, you better prioritize uh, having the fresh rubber uh, for the races but here we are in Jeddah in a street circuit the degradation of the tires we have seen is not massive at all uh, so the tires are uh, quite uh, consistent um, for two reasons uh, but the main reason is that this asphalt is very smooth is not so abrasive so what we call is the macro roughness of the tarmac is uh, is uh, not so rough is quite smooth not abrasive and uh, this is making the tire life uh, quite long and uh, the consistency quite good uh, for uh, all the drivers and uh, this is uh, one of those things that uh, will uh, give uh, the drivers the opportunity to decide uh, what is uh, their preferite, their favorite uh... oh this is Burtz I believe Oscar Burtz I believe hopefully let's hope that he will be able to restart from Merano Feria the car I don't believe it was damaged at all I just uh, hope that uh, he may be lost control and he will be able to restart uh, definitely qualifying is one of those uh, situation where uh, you just want to maximize the the track time and uh, we are still green uh, uh, for the moment this other green car is the 99 of Abdul Aziz I'm trying to understand if uh, or Oscar is uh, is still out on track and uh, hopefully he was able to rejoin and uh, he can have uh, a clean qualifying so for the moment we don't have yet uh, a remarkable uh, uh, lap time we are running on the 211 which uh, it is not uh, for the moment uh, uh, a lap time within the window we expect uh, the lap time somewhere in between the 207 hopefully low 207 or mid 207 hard to say i'm now looking at uh, uh, the timing to see if uh, oscar is gonna cross the line or going into the pits So it's now already 41, 42 seconds uh, behind uh, when it was scheduled, scheduled to uh, cross the line. So it's not a good news for the moment for uh, uh, Oscar Burt. All right, let's focus on uh, the rest uh, of uh, um, the group. Uh, we have uh, Sakira Moshergi now going slowly, warming warming up uh, the tires here we have uh, Saker the poleman of uh, the race uh, uh, from uh, last event he has been uh, super good super quick incredible to see him uh, uh, on pole position he was really happy really emotional and uh, when we saw Saker on pole position we really thought that uh, it was one of those things that uh, it was going to happen sooner or later so safety car full course yellow this is not a good news uh, for uh, Oscar Burtz I believe Oscar Wurtz 
let's hope uh, they can help him restart the car it would be such a shame uh, for him to end the qualifying like this it looks like uh, it looks like he lost control uh, in somehow in uh, turn 8 it's a fast corner and he probably went uh, just a bit too much on the curb you can see the marks uh, on the tarmac I really hope uh, he's able to restart the car and uh, go back on track really want to see Oscar back uh, in this qualifying Oscar is uh, definitely one of the most talented guys uh, in the championship he's been uh, super quick, super quick uh, uh, especially in Bahrain he's won uh, uh, one of the races and he's been on the podium several times like also last Monday uh, in race one when he finished second this is the corner where Oscar is uh, standing still on uh, the right hand side just uh, out of the line uh, after potentially losing control of uh, his status F4 car um, for the moment Federico Arifai is the only driver that has set uh, a good lap time as it's uh, a 2 minute point 8 which uh, it is already like uh, uh, a decent uh, quite fast uh, lap time in uh, this session um, we believe uh, drivers will be able to go lower than 2 minute 8 while uh, with this long yellow the time is running shorter and shorter is now 17 minutes to go Faisal, some, Faisal Al Gabani potentially thinking about uh, changing his tires we still see a yellow flag and we still see the safety car going around we're not uh, going to uh, a red flag for the moment so potentially I believe uh, the track is now uh, clear but uh, yeah this means that uh, Oscar Wurz uh, is not uh, able to rejoin the circuit for uh, the moment uh, as I can see that he's not uh, back on uh, uh, the screen so bad luck again or such a shame for him at the moment while uh, in the pit we see Rifai going for the second set of tires with 16 minutes to go this is uh, I would say a good time uh, for him to do so um, this is the minimum you need uh, in order to have uh, enough time to go out warm up start pushing and then finally uh, at the begin uh, uh, of uh, at the end of the session you will be able to improve and try to uh, go lower than a two minute eight um, yeah so for sure it's uh, the safety car is going back into the pits so we believe uh, we are going to we are going green shortly with the drivers able to restart basically in green conditions more or less with 15 minutes to go while uh, uh, for Zamfari and Kutskov yes now it's green so Kutskov and Zamfari they can start and push uh, again uh, with uh, Zamfari leading this uh, uh, small group uh, with Kutskov uh, right behind and uh, I believe Altani is just uh, following uh, this uh, small group uh, of cars um, it was good timing for uh, Zamfari and Kutskov to prepare their uh, own uh, uh, warm-up lap just behind the safety car and then being able to restart here we are in turn 8 little lift uh, on power going on the curves and then back for turn 9 flat out in 10 in a very fast uh, uh, section that leads into the braking for turn 13 a banked corner very technical 
one of those corners where uh, uh, we haven't seen many overtaking 40 minutes to go and only one guy was able to do a lap time that is already into the window that we believe is uh, potentially quite fast so it's down to everybody else uh, to try and improve that lap time Suleiman Zanfari is now purple in sector one with a 46.5 it is already one of those uh, sector time that uh, can be quick enough to go into the two minutes point seven seconds under the two minute eight depending on uh, uh, the speed uh, that uh, Zanfari and Kutskov both of them can deliver in the final part uh, of the track Kutskov also beneficial of this position in the slipstream with being behind Zanfari and Kirill Kutskov in second Zanfari in third Altani in fourth, also behind this little group of drivers. Very good lap from uh, Jabor Altani. Now we can see if uh, Kutkov and Zamfari are able to improve the lap time. With Zamfari not moving away from Kutkov, ah, that's not good for Zamfari. As he probably couldn't see Kutkov coming. And by slowing down in turn four, he definitely slowed down Kuzkov when Kuzkov now moved away from the line to let Jabor go. Kuzkov won't be happy about this, unfortunately. But head down with the 12 minutes to go. With Jabor Altani really pushing hard, trying to improve himself. We now have... Uh, Petrovic on a purple first sector. Petrovic really has to make it happen if he wants to win this championship. He's now on a purple sector. He's pushing hard. And he goes to P1 with a 277. Three tenths of gap to Rifai. He now has a little bit of traffic in front. Let's see if traffic... No, the traffic moves away from him. Perfect timing for Petrovic. Why Refi wants to take the slipstream maybe from uh, Petrovic? No, he's not. He's just warming up for the moment. Let's hope that for Petrovic, this traffic in front of him wasn't too much of a problem to deal with. Such a shame for Wurz that is now out uh, of this qualifying. Real shame. Petrovic uh, improving again in sector one. What a sector! This is a brilliant sector. He has uh, a slow car in front. Slow, I mean, a car that is not in a push lap in front. Uh, make sure. You always look in your mirror when you are in a slow lap. We said that to everybody in the briefing and we reminded that in our group chat we have. But uh, sometimes, you know, you just so much focus on what you're doing, how you're driving that, uh, yeah, in a circuit that is this fast, you really have to make an effort in order not to be in the wrong time and the wrong place uh, when you are on a slow lap. But uh, Petrovic is improving, he's pushing, he's focused and he's driving at his best with 10 minutes to go in this qualifying. He's now on another fast lap. Let's see what he can do. And uh, finally a low seven. Two minutes, seven, and three. He's the guy on a charge, on a mission. 
he wants this title if he wants it then he has to deliver fast laps and he's doing it in style perfectly turn four five flat out six seven still flat out little lift for turn eight on the curb little lift for turn nine tires are screaming on the exit curb for turn 10 flat out and now he's breaking into turn 13 down to fourth gear quite fast with the banking and Kuzkov is on a very good lap also and Rifai as well both of them are improving themselves Petrovic as well is improving by a few hundred of a second so he can probably match his previous lap time if not he can even beat it now breaking into turn 22 for Petrovic we can see him from the drone 23 flat out 24 this is 25 flat out and then we go up to six gear for the final corner of this uh, 6.2 kilometer lap down to third final corner very close to the wall Petrovic he knows that he has to put it on pole for both race one and three if he wants to have an opportunity and yes he does another 2.73 for the moment nobody is able to go this fast let's see what uh, Kuzkov can do and Rifai in first Rifai with an amazing second sector Rifai doesn't want to let Petrovic go and he's two tenths of a second faster than Petrovic wow where this lap came from Rifai in first Kuzkov in third Omar Alvaleda de Rayan in fourth what a qualifying Amdal Kubezi in front of Ersi Steramna in sixth in uh, fifth and sixth and Sakir the moment of the last event in seven wow what a lap from Rifai now Petrovic is on uh, a cool down lap and Rifai is improving again wow this is uh, fantastic from uh, uh, Rifai that uh, is improving again can he go under the 2 minutes 7 can he do a 206 Omar in third what a lap from Omar Omar Alvalida de Rayan in third what a lap 27.6 Omar is on a mission Amda now on a very fast lap her first sector is really good as Kirill Kuzkov is also on a fast lap anything can change now with only five minutes to go we have Petrovic and Rifai one close to the other this uh, slipstream Petrovic is giving to Rifai can be quite good to Rifai yes yes indeed it will be good for Rifai to be behind Petrovic but it's only a 277 from Rifai from so maybe a little mistake while Petrovic is starting for the new fast lap and Amda Amda up to third 27590 Amda just in front of Omar very close to each other Federico Andre and then Amda Omar let's see what Kutskov can do here he is number 23 into the final corner 
His first sector is looking really good. He has a little bit of a slipstream from Abdullah Al Kubesi. And Kuzkov up to P4. Up to P4. Just a few hundred in front of, few hundred of a second in front of Omar Al Valid Al Darayan. So Kuzkov in fourth. But watch out because Petrovic is now the quickest in sector one. He is the quickest in sector one with four minutes to go. He is the quickest in sector one. So he is definitely really fast so far. But if he wants the pole position, if he wants to put some extra pressure on refi he has to deliver in the final two sectors here we have petrovic with refi just behind refi is also in a perfect position to make the most out of the slipstream so not ideal for petrovic to give this uh, slipstream to al refi definitely very beneficial let's see and refi is improving himself with another 27.1 while uh, petrovic did another 27.3 So, right now, with 2 minutes 40 to go, we will see Rifai on pole position for race 1, while Petrovic on pole position for race 3. This is, at the moment, 2. Grab the pole position for Rifai. He has to try and improve... Uh, radically for his third best lap as uh, Rifai for the moment he only has two good laps while Petrovic he already has three but both of them are improving both uh, Al Rifai and Petrovic are improving we have seen uh, Al Rifai super fast super quick in the final sector of the track while uh, Petrovic is generally a little bit faster in the opening part of the lap. What a fight. Good job from Amda in third. And Kutskov behind in fourth. Omar al Valid al Darayan in fifth. Al Moshergi for the moment not able to perform. Uh, like he did uh, last two, last Monday, where he was able to go on pole position. With one minute to go, so next lap will be the final lap of the qualifying. And Petrovic on pole position. 2-7-0. Petrovic on the second last lap. Improved himself. Incredible job from Petrovic. Wow. And this not only is giving the potential pole position for race 1 to Petrovic, but also the pole position for race 3. No, wait. This is... No, other way around. This is now giving the pole position to Petrovic for race 1, but the pole position for race Three is for Refi because Refi he has three laps on the two seven point one three laps. So with only this lap to go, Refi he has secured the pole for race three, while for the race one is still in the hands of these two because both of them they repeated themselves they couldn't match their best sector but uh, the sector is in line uh, 
to their best. So, by pushing as hard as possible, with uh, Petrovic trying to get closer to Saker right in front of him, a little bit of slipstream, but also Rifai has the slipstream in the final sector of the, the circuit. Looks like Petrovic is really pushing hard. Last corner of the last qualifying of the season. And Petrovic on pole. Pole position for Petrovic. Rifai in second. Less than a tenth behind. Amdal Kubesi in third. Kirill Kutskov in fourth. Omar Alvarid Aldrayan fifth position. Amdal Kubesi in sixth. Saker Al Moshergi. He didn't quite like potentially the condition of the circuit with a little bit less grip. I would say for sure uh, he is one of those uh, drivers that uh, we know can win races but and Kuzco what a lap in the final lap up to third great job from Kirill Kuzco Kirill is the guy that can be in the middle of uh, the contention today especially uh, you know the third that can uh, try and benefit from uh, the fight uh, between Petrovic and Alrifai and Kuzkov in third very nice uh, last lap from Kuzkov so going down the order then we see Suleiman Zanfari position 8 Al Kabani 9th Abdul Al Kubeisi 10, Jabor Altani 11, Abdul Aziz Abu Zanada in 12, and unfortunately Oscar Wurtz without uh, being able to set uh, uh, a fast lap. Ah, such a shame for Oscar. We will have to review. Uh, with him and his injury would happen it looks to me that uh, he potentially lost control in a very fast corner which is turn 8 when uh, his tires were maybe not uh, fully ready and uh, warm but what a qualifying with Petrovic in the second last lap able to get the pole position but in the second same lap Rifai was able to um, confirm his lap time more or less for the third time because he did uh, three laps more or less in the same tent that will give him the pole position for race three so these two guys they basically one to one and uh, it's a tie one pole position each what a fight what a fight we could have had uh, we couldn't have had a better uh, fight with the top three on the championship top three in the qualifying also fantastic fantastic and Andrei Petrovic uh, with little experience but he is the world champion from karting he should be happy because he's a good driver and a uh, fantastic guy we really wish him uh, the best uh, regardless uh, the final outcome uh, of uh, of this uh, uh, final event and of this uh, uh, Formula 4 Saudi Arabia championship and Pole position today, last uh, of the season for Andrei Petrovic. Less than a tenth away, Federico Arifai, the two contenders at the top with Kirill Kuzkov.
in third. And Dalcubesi will start in fourth, second row. Omar Al-Valid Adrian confirming is uh, in a perfect shape. Position five. Amnal Kubezi in sixth. Sakela Moshergi, uh, not quite uh, what we were expecting. Fantastic driver. He will be one of the contenders in the races anyway. In uh, eighth for Suleiman Zanfari. Faisal Al Kabani ninth. Abdullah Al Kubezi, position 10. 11th for Jabor Altani. Good lap both for him and Abdul Aziz Abu Zenada in Oscar Wurz without lap time. Marcello with the pullman of today, Andrei Petrovic. Andrei Petrovic again on pole after the last weekend where you were not super happy about the quality. This time you put everything together. After the free practice, you told me the track is not so good. Well, well the lap time is, I think, even faster than the one you had last time. Yeah, the track is getting better. I don't think it's better than the last week, but uh, now I put a good lap together and uh, everything was good throughout the qualifying. So I'm very happy to be on pole. So I've seen a couple of times you were improving the first sector, but then it didn't put everything together and the last, I mean, lap time was not as quick as the one that gets you the pole. What happened? What did you change in the second part of the track? Uh, yeah, sometimes because it's a very high speed track, in the, all of the high-speed corners, the tires overheat a little bit. And then uh, if I push too much in the beginning of the lap, then I don't have the tires for the second part. So uh, I have to find the balance. So it looks like you found it. So good job and good luck for the race. Thank you. Perfect, perfect job from uh, Andrei Petrovic. Uh, yes, uh, absolutely. He needed a pole position and... Uh, and yes, uh, he did everything perfect in this uh, uh, qualifying. In the streets of Jeddah. Andrei Petrovic in the red car number 49. Against this guy, Federico Rifai in the white number 10. It looks like for the moment it's a fight between these two, but everything has to be written in these final three races uh, of the season. It will be a long, hot night. But watch out, Kirill Kuzkov is there, position three. He's a world champion, don't forget. And uh, he's been a winner here during the last weekend. And he wants to be up there fighting for the victories as well and it will be fantastic qualifying with a bit of uh, uh, drama also in the middle of it when we had the uh, uh, yellow full course yellow and uh, but we had uh, definitely a fantastic end of the session so can't wait for the first uh, uh, race uh, of today and uh, this final event uh, of the Formula 4 Saudi Arabian Championship. So, see you later for the first of the three races. Thank you very much from Luca Filippi.